Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and I welcome all of you back to the 22nd of July edition of EastEnders. Today, there's uh, quite a few things to talk about. The first, and again, we're going to sort of like go through this through like periodical stages, because from like least importance to the big things that happened. And unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, there were... There was like one big thing that happened and there was a bunch of like smaller things that happened that don't really seem to be much significance. So let's just talk about them. Uh, one between Callum, Ben and uh, Phil where, you know, they're still trying to like win, uh, you know, Phil over. Uh, Phil, like, well, Phil and Callum talk a bit later about talking about uh if there was someone else bothering him, then you should get Phil involved or something. Like, or so, it was something like that. Callum once again explaining in the calf quite early on is that I could lose my job over this. And the fact that Ben thinks he's in the clear of just using a burner phone. To be honest, this the whole thing, it just doesn't seem to like... Nothing really seems resolved and nothing really seems to have gone anywhere. So you could have just cut that part out of the episode and we would have missed nothing. The second is that we have to watch again watch uh, Honey's irritation of uh, Suki, only this time in the form of Honey bringing over lasagna. This is despite the fact that when Suki uh, takes a bite of the lasagna, you can clearly see strands of spaghetti at the very bottom. So I don't technically know if that even was a lasagna or whether or not that was just lasagna with some cooked pasta underneath it. Why would you ever put, like, spaghetti at the bottom of a lasagna is a good question. I'd... If the people around on the show don't... Do they not know what a lasagna looks like? It just seems strange. And to be honest, the whole thing with Suki and Honey, it just seemed to, like, mostly be talking about food. I mean, we've already got, like, the big thing down with uh, Honey just basically trying to become Suki's friend and all that. For whatever reason. I suppose that's a that's a big problem I have with this idea that's with the Panasars now with Honey suddenly getting herself involved for no reason. Is that why exactly does Honey want to be Suki's friend? Uh, Honey's fr Suki's friend. It just seems as if like just we can't fi figure out anything for you know Honey to do aside from the fact that she's supposed to be in a relationship with Jay. So make of that what you will. Hmm. And the other major sort of thing that happened just before we get to the main part is that it's Bobby Beale's 18th birthday. And they throw a surprise party at uh, uh, East Walford. Uh, Donna's father arrives on the scene, talks to Bobby for a bit. But to be honest, that's kind of about it. You gotta love in how for Bobby's birthday and that, he barely manages to, you know, raise a smile for everything, for, for what his family have done for him, which is a very, I don't even know how to freaking put that. So just, you again, you could have almost written that out, unless of course you're going to do, it just seems as if like, I don't know, things simply seem to be just working fine for Bobby because she's got Donna, she's got still the respect of people around him. Despite everything he's done. You see, back when I, I said the part where Donna ran away from Bobby after he hearing about Bobby's past, I thought that was like a brilliant move on part of the writers because it is it extends the idea that you simply cannot run away from your past no matter how hard you try to run. Which we could have you could have just left it there with Donna and you would you would have been like, fair enough, that's the best way we could have ended this little storyline by by showing that it's 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 much more complicated than that. And then they just say, well, let's just have Bobby go with Donna anyway. So there was no like retention at, at all whatsoever. So following on from this, the big uh, point of discussion, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, Frankie finally. Uh, finally uh, capitulating and telling uh, Mick about the story about when Frankie got run over. She does land Zack in it, telling him, telling him about what, what Zack's uh, complicity was involved in this. But aside from uh, Mick going, you could have killed your sister, 
Nick is surprisingly very calm about the situation. He, they go and talk at Ruby, saying that you were you and Zach were there at his bed at a, at a bedside. You were doing the right thing, even though the circumstances were horrible and you could have killed your sister. Then Frankie turns into a thing about how she f feels left out and all that. Uh, Mick tells uh, Frankie that Linda was pregnant with Max's baby, which honestly I thought I've seen that scene before, but Mick was only probably telling you know Nancy about this, so that's that's my excuse for not paying attention <sighs> too much. And the episode ends with uh, Zach and Nancy, you know. Uh, uh, sharing a kiss uh, on the pavement and Mick is not happy about this mostly because Zach lied to Mick and told him about well it was Zach who got involved in Nancy in the first place and ended up nearly killing her because he was irresponsible you could say the same for Frankie but I you know Frankie was the one behind the wheel anyway so, so, so that really is kind of the episode, ladies and gentlemen. It's just a very, not really much to take home. Not particularly the most interesting or the most complex sort of episodes in the world. I do question why on earth uh, Mick would be so just completely willing to forgive Frankie, like, without any real effort at all. I do, however, question exactly what's going to become of Zack in the, maybe the next couple of episodes. We'll see about them. It's strange that these the new characters they've brought into this show, they just... I don't know, I'm not really like... I'm not, I'm not really clicking with them, and I don't particularly find them overly that interesting. Rocky, especially, I don't find interesting. Uh, Donna is... Mm, Donna, I suppose. I, I'm, I'm not. I'm not entirely like you know. Didn't we already used to have a Donna in the show and used to go out with uh, Robbie? I miss Robbie. And Frankie's just kind of yeah. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna do it for this episode of EastEnders, and I will hope to see you guys again in the next video. Take care. Bye bye for now.